If you're lucky enough to be in a workplace that allows you to bring your own device in, you don't have to be constrained to using the available operating systems in the office. You can use your own. And in this case, we want to use FreeBSD to do some work. So in this video, we'll be looking at what office suites are available for FreeBSD so we can get down to business. So what is available for FreeBSD in terms of office suites? Well, you might think that Microsoft Office is something that's not available. It is and it isn't, and we'll have a look at that later. What is available for FreeBSD is WPS Office, LibreOffice, Caligra Office, and OpenOffice. Each one of these office suites have their strengths and weaknesses, and it's really down to personal taste and preference which one you want to use. The first one we'll have a look at is WPS Office. The installation is via ports only, so you're going to have to go into the ports directory and install the old-fashioned way. But once you do, it will pop up on the menu system. Uh, in this case, I'm looking at KDE, and there it is, WPS Writer. And the word processor has got all the usual uh, abilities and facilities that you want in a, in a modern word processor. You've got different ways that you can alter text. You can align text up so you can create different types of documents. Uh, you can embed uh, graphics in there if you wish. It's all very nice and it's all very clean. And of course you can do spreadsheets as well. And looking at these templates which is available on the WPS website, you can download a template, install it into your Office suite and you're good to go. That's if you don't want to design your own from scratch. I mean you can do that of course if you wish. And there's a big choice on the WPS uh, website. So there's almost everything that you could possibly want there. Some are premium, the vast majority is free. But it's only a small amount anyway uh, that they're asking, even if you want to pay the premium price, which is reasonable. So that was WPS Office. I like it. It's a commercial product, but it's available for FreeBSD users. So the next one is LibreOffice. I think this needs no introduction. I mean, it's probably one of the most widely available uh, open source Office suite there are. It's installed on many, many Linux distributions. It's also available for FreeBSD users. You can install via package or via ports. And again, just like WPS Office, it will auto-populate in the menu. And like again, we're using KDE, so your own desktop environment or ma window manager might not behave in the same way. So I'll look at uh, LibreOffice Writer. And again, this is the same document we're using in WPS Office. And of course, it looks the same. I mean, there's a standard amongst all the office suites that they're going to behave in the same way. There are some features which differ, the user interface, etc. And again, it's down to personal preference, which you, which you want to use. So aside from the usual word processor and spreadsheet, we, there is a presentation part to this. And you can design some nice uh, slideshows, if you wish. There's a math section for the complicated... Uh, equations you may need, and a draw application. There's also the database, if you wish to use that. Again, you, this really needs no introduction. I think everyone is familiar with LibreOffice, and it runs very, very well on FreeBSD. And that was LibreOffice. Next is Caligra, or Caligra. And this is part of, well, not part of, but it's available for KDE. And it is made up of... Separate programs which come under the Caligra umbrella, as it were. There's Words, Sheets, Kexi, which is a visual database application. Carbon is a vector drawing application. Plan, uh, project management. And Stage, which is a presentation very much like Impress. And one that's not available for FreeBSD, which is uh, available for Linux users, which is part of the Caligra Office Suite, is Caligra Gemini. Right, so the word processor again, it's uh, pretty standard, allows you to import pictures, etc., and arrange them. So it's almost like a, a desktop publishing application, really, at this point. So there's, this is Caligra Office. And you've got the presentation suite, which is Stage. Again, it's uh, very familiar. Then we have Sheets, which is the spreadsheet. 
And you can create a light in this case, it's a meal plan if you want to. We have the Kexi database, Carbon. It's good that, that this is integrated into KDE itself. Um, so it's a good alternative. So that was Caligra. And finally, on these ones, we'll have a look at Apache OpenOffice. Now, a lot of people think that OpenOffice isn't made anymore or isn't updated anymore. It still is. And you can install via packages or ports. And you can install the release version or the development version. For a more up-to-date experience, I think the development will give you uh, a better run for your money, as they say. And it's perfectly stable. I mean, it says development, but it's, uh, it's perfectly usable. And OpenOffice, like WPS Office, has a lot of templates and ready to, yeah, ready to go uh, designs for you to use in your work. And of course, all these are free. And you can use these with LibreOffice, it's been so similar. And you can also load them into Caligra Office. So it's a, it's a pretty cool thing. And here we are on a resume or CV, as we call it in England. And you can, uh, you can tailor the template to almost anything that you want. And what's good about OpenOffice, it gives you a nice FreeBSD branded <laughs> about section, which always makes me smile. So yes, yeah, very good. And of course, you can do a, a plain template. You can do music paper, if you wish. And here we are, a spreadsheet. A little bit of designing. So I'll just change that to, uh, oh, I don't know, Robonuggy. Twenty twenty two, and there we go. And of course, you got maths, database, and the usual. So that was Open Office, which I personally prefer Open Office to LibreOffice, but that's just my personal preference. So yes, what about Microsoft Office? Well, it is available for FreeBSD in a way if you use Wine. Wine's come a long way since uh, the early days, and here we are. This is an older version of. Microsoft Office, it's Office 2007. Of course, it will work with more up-to-date ones, but you, your mileage may vary, as the uh, the young people like to say. And you can do all the usual things, spreadsheets, word processor, desktop publishing, and Outlook. So even if you must use Office, you can get it working. And again, it's not something I would use, but if someone sits down at your computer and they really must use a, a Microsoft Office product, it's available. So yeah, there's at least five things there which are available for FreeBSD to use on your own system at work. Of course, it may be an office that you have in your house. It may be on a device. It's different to a laptop that you're bringing into work. It makes no difference. FreeBSD can manage your businesses and your work when you need it to. So, you know, don't let anyone ever say that there's no software available for FreeBSD. There's more than enough. And that's not a bad thing. We have plenty of choice that it can use its own native applications, it can use Linux applications, and it can also use Windows applications. And of course, if you really must, you could use your browser to point to Microsoft Office 365 and uh, use that. So yes, this was just a quick look to see what was available for Office Suites on FreeBSD. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.